Hi everyone and welcome back to Stitchy Bee. I'm Cheryl Temple. Um, well, I've been tagged in the five questions one take hashtag um, that was originally created uh, by Lisa from And So On, um, who has a, she has a YouTube channel. And Emily from One At A Time has kindly tagged me. So I thought, why not? I'll join in. So how it works is there are five questions that you have to answer and you've got to do it in one take, no edits which is fine for me, as you can probably tell, I tend not to edit that much anyway, it saves loads of time. Okay, here we go, question number one. If you were given a paid sabbatical to spend a year living anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? So for me, my heart has always been in the Greek islands. I absolutely love them. I holiday there every year, and if I had a whole year to explore them, I'd be in my element. It'd be absolutely amazing. The people are fantastic, the food's great, and of course the weather. Um, that would really appeal. Although in winter it does snow, so um, yeah, I'd still like to see it in the, the quieter, wintry time of year as well. It's beautiful. Okay, question two. Forgive me looking down because I've written my notes here. Who was your favourite teacher growing up and how did they influence you? Um, this was quite tricky because I don't really have a favourite, um, but I do have fond memories of my primary school teachers. Um, they were very motherly, very caring, and uh, my first primary school teacher, Mrs Baker, was lovely. And we did lots of crafts in that school, so even at the playtime at break, um, we had a dinner lady called Mary, and I remember her teaching us how to knit um, on the wet breaks when we were indoors. So those are my fondest memories of um, the teachers, uh, so definitely at primary school. Okay, question three. Name three things besides sewing that you're good at. Okay, uh, Cooking, I absolutely love. I've got millions of cookbooks. I'm obsessed with buying them. Um, so yeah, I've uh, got a bit of a thing for cooking. And crochet, I adore crochet and I adore knitting. I'll put those in the same one, because um, they're similar. And um, this is one of the things I knitted before I started sewing, which is this little cute tea cozy um, with um, crocheted flowers. So a little bit of both skills there. So yeah. Um, the only reason I don't do it now is because it takes so much time um, and I used to knit before I had two children um, and now, now I mean, any mums will know it does take up your time quite a lot as well as running a business so yeah and the third thing um, is fishing I wouldn't say I'm brilliant at it but um, ever since I was a little girl I've always gone fishing with my dad and it's kind of our time together and we get to sit on the river bank and have a chat and um, we don't go as often as we'd like these days because we live so far apart um, but we do love going fishing and it's unusual even these days um, for the chaps on the river bank to see a to see a girl um, sat there with a fishing rod so I'm quite proud to be doing something um, that's a little bit different okay do you cook yes and what meal or recipe um, are you most known for um so i would say my favorite thing to cook is a chicken curry um, i adore curries and i'm always trying to perfect that recipe and trying different things and i always tend to revert back to my old favorite recipe so um i might pop it down there actually if you're interested <laughs> if you want a recipe or two um i'll pop it in the comments um section below uh, and then the other thing, of course, um, which being a northern girl, um, I love a roast dinner and Yorkshire puddings. So, um, because I'm from Yorkshire originally, if you've not guessed. So yeah, um, curries and roast dinners are my favorite meals to cook. Okay, question five, uh, one sewing question. Uh, this is, what is your favorite pattern ever and why? Now, you probably can tell from my vlogs, I'm really quite fickle when it comes to sewing patterns. And my favorite pattern is always the last one that I've made. Um, so in this case, it would be the Linden sweatshirt, which I would say is gonna be an all-time favorite anyway of mine. I'm already planning to make half a dozen because I could live in those at this time of year. It's really cold here in the UK at the moment. So um, the Linden is so easy to, uh, to both sew and wear. Um, so for that reason, I'll choose that one. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I'll get on to another pattern next week and that'll be my new favorite, no doubt. 
and that's it all five questions done in one take i hope this has worked i flipped my camera around today because i'm told it's a, a little bit better quality so you'll have to tell me if it is or not okay so uh, i'm not going to tag anyone because i think most of you have already done it i'm quite late to the five questions one take hashtag um, but if you haven't tag yourself and join in okay thanks a lot for listening and i'll see you soon take care bye Thank you.